How to set up your Google Nest Cam indoor, wired, third gen. You can put your Nest Cam anywhere you need it. You can place it on a flat surface or mount it to a wall. We are going to show you how to set it up. Everything you need to get started is included in the box. You may also need a pencil, a number two Phillips screwdriver, a drill, and 7 64th inch or 3 millimeter drill bit for installing on drywall or wood, and a quarter inch or 6 millimeter masonry bit for hard surfaces like stucco, stone, or brick, a rubber mallet or hammer, and a stepladder. Make sure you have a Google account set up and the Google Home app installed. Go to accounts.google.com to set up an account. Then download the Google Home app from Google Play or the Apple App Store. First, you'll set up your camera in the Google Home app. Then you'll install it somewhere in your home. Scan the QR code found on the front of your camera to add it to the Google Home app. Remove the QR code sticker and place it in the Quick Start Guide or inside the base of the camera after removing the wall plate. Saving the QR code sticker will make it easier to set up your camera again if you need to. If you misplace the QR code, you can still add your camera with the setup code found under the base at the bottom of the camera. To remove the base, place your palm flat against the bottom of the camera and twist the base counterclockwise to remove it. Write down the setup code, then put the base back on, twisting it clockwise until you hear it click into place. Skip the option to scan the QR code. Then, enter the code. The app will now guide you through the terms and conditions and usage guidelines. Plug in your camera where you'd like to use it. The camera will chime and the status light will turn white when it's connected to power. The light will turn blue when it's ready to set up. If you plan to mount your camera on a wall, finish setup through the Google Home app first. Make sure your phone or tablet is connected to the same Wi-Fi network that will be used to set up your Nest Cam. After you connect your Nest Cam to your Wi-Fi network, you'll select the location in your home where you'd like to set it up. Choose a location with a good Wi-Fi connection. Test it by placing your camera in the location you'd like to view. Make sure the video is still streaming and the light on the camera is green. If the video stream is interrupted, Try moving the camera to improve the connection. Sometimes a few inches can make a big difference. To mount your camera on a wooden wall, you'll use the wall screws. For drywall, brick, stone, masonry, or stucco, you'll also need the wall anchors. If you plan on mounting your camera 6 to 6.5 feet, 1.8 to 2 meters, or higher, you'll need to use the cable clip to keep the power cord in place. The base of the camera doubles as a wall plate. You'll use it to mount your camera to a wall. To remove it, hold the top of the wall mount with one hand. Then place the palm of your hand flat against the base and twist 30 degrees counterclockwise. You might need to use some force when pressing in order to twist it open. Follow the arrow sign on the base plate. Choose a spot that is 6 to 6.5 feet, 1.8 to 2 meters, above the ground. Many camera features will work best at this height. Hold the wall plate against the wall, making sure the screw holes are parallel to the ground. Mark the location for the screws. Drill pilot holes using a 7 64th inch or 3 millimeter drill bit. Secure the wall plate to the wall with the screws provided. If wall anchors are needed, mark the location for each screw. Then drill a hole for each anchor using a quarter inch or 6 millimeter drill bit or masonry bit. Gently tap in the anchors with a rubber mallet or hammer, then secure the wall plate with the screws provided. Now follow the steps in the app to mount the camera to the wall plate. Make sure the base of the camera is right side up so that the arrow is pointing up. Then turn the camera head 180 degrees so that the power cord is at the top of the camera. Place the power cord through the gaps in the wall plate. While holding the power cord in place, Rotate the camera to the left about 45 degrees. Then place the base of the camera over the wall plate. Gently press the camera onto the wall plate and twist it clockwise until you feel it click into place. The bottom of the camera is mounted a quarter inch above the wall plate to leave space for adjusting the power cord. Make sure to leave some slack in the cable 
so that the camera can turn freely from side to side and up and down. If you're unable to move the camera up and down, you may need to remove it from the wall plate, rotate the camera 180 degrees, and reattach it. Adjust your camera's view to capture the level of detail you'd like to see. You may need to slide the cable up or down within the wall plate to hold the camera at the angle you want. If your camera is mounted 6.5 feet, 2 meters, or higher, use the included cable clip to secure the power cord in place. The cable clip should be within 6 inches, 15 centimeters, from the camera. You may also need to use the wall anchor depending on the type of wall surface. Make sure to leave a little slack in the cable so you can adjust the camera when it's connected. When your camera is on or actively recording, the status light will turn green. When someone is watching the live video, the light will pulse green. To learn more, visit the Google Help Center.